These horses are from all over. There's from Texas, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Montana, Wyoming. We have horses come from all over for this sale and we handpick each and every one of them. So we have buyers that are probably not going to be here to buy a lot of horses. I just heard we had around 250 people registered to bid remotely and they could be bidding from literally anywhere in the world. So it'll be interesting when this gets done and we decide, you know, we start figuring out how to ship horses where that shipping goes. So we have another sale in February in Arizona, and we'll start planning for that one about a week after this gets done. And then same thing, as soon as that sale in February is done, then we start on this one. It definitely changed the planning process. We had some consigners that were not sure we'd be able to have a sale and then if it was just going to be online or not. And so all that we did was be sure that we were super prepared. We got in touch with the county health department. We made all the plans so that we could have people here. In the event that they you know, said it was a no-go, we were still able to have the sale, bid online. Everything was set up to go regardless. So as you can see, there's no bleachers. We do have a few hay bales set out, but they're spaced. Um, there was some limitations on the actual activities we could have, so the dinner dance was scrapped. But other than that, um, you know, horse sale is a pretty outdoor event, so there wasn't a lot of concessions that had to be made. We really appreciate the town of Sheridan being such a good host. Obviously, the Kendrick Mansion has been fantastic. All the crew at the Sheridan Fairgrounds has worked their tails off. And especially to our sponsors that stuck with us, we realize what a hard time this is economically and just uncertainty, so we really appreciate everybody that supported this.